Hey there, South Jersey. I'm Pete Thompson with the Cape May County Herald, and this is Under Review. Under Review brought to you by Burke Motor Group. It was rivalry week this past week for two of our Super Six as Middle Township and Lower Cape May square off in both wrestling and high school swimming. Coming up, we're going to have highlights of the Panther wrestling team as the boys travel south to Irma to take on Lower Cape May last Wednesday night. We'll also head to the pool as Lower Cape May and Middle square off in a co-ed meet at the Crest Haven Complex. And that's not all, as we'll have all your boys and girls basketball scores for you from the week that was. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. It's all ahead, but first we'll get started with some wrestling as Matt Wolf and the Middle Township boys make the trip south to the parkway to visit Lower Cape May. To Irma we go. Team captains from both sides on the mat, along with their coaches, Rocky Sikosi on the left, Matt Wolf on the right. Both teams looking for win number one on the season. We'll pick up the action at 182, where Treshawn Harris from middle puts on an absolute clinic against John Necht from lower. 16-0 here. That's a technical fall and five big team points for the Panthers. Middle leads the match. 20 to 6 at this point. We'll move up to 195 next, and Joe Flick from Lower Cape May has Kyle Matthews from middle in big trouble. Flick with the advantage, and he squeezes for the pin. That's 16 points for Lower Cape May as the Caper Tigers start to eat away at the early middle lead. Jump up to 220, though, and this time it's Austin Kaminsky from middle who throws his opponent down to the mat. Kaminsky with a relatively quick start and finish in his weight class as he gets a pin at one minute and seven seconds of the first period. 26 to 12, middle leads by 14 after eight of the 14 weight classes are in the books. Big boys now and lower has an answer this time. Josh Antarino is in the black and gold singlet. He pins his opponent for six more points for lower. It's 26 to 18. The Caper Tigers trail by eight as we flip things over to the little guys. And we'll show you a little bit of Alex Przinski at 120 as he registers a pin for lower. The Caper Tigers win four of the final five weight classes of the night. And that means a win in the match. 38 to 30, the final. Lower Cape May wins it by eight for win number one on the season. They're one and three. Middle Township falls to 0 and one. Just one other wrestling score to pass along from last week, and that involves the Ocean City Boys as they edge past Millville, 33 to 30. OC with 12 bonus points thanks to three pins and a forfeit. Red Raider senior Kyle Strunk with a key victory for OC. Mike Castellini's team now three and two on the season, and that's high school wrestling. Let's continue our under review with area high school swimming. Everybody into the pool. <laughs> yes, from the mats to the pool as our rivalry week coverage continues with Lower Cape Bay at Middle Township. Co-ed swimming in this case. So to the Crest Haven Complex we go. And back in my TV 40 days, I used to get a call on a fairly regular basis from a nice gentleman who would remind me that he was calling in a final score from that other winter sport, swimming. And then he'd go on to leave a Middle Township result. Anyhow, we'll pick up the action here with the 50 free. Sean Geary from Middle back to the wall first in the time of 25 flat. Lowers Brandon Bauer is second. Nick Rubio from Middle is third. The score is 43 to 19, Middle Township after four events. Later in the meet, it's the 100 yard free in a very close race in lanes three, four, and five. Abby Thompson from Middle wins it with a time of 59.84. Girl power. You go, Abby. No relation, by the way. Bobby Murphy from lower second. Zach Sykes from Middle finishes third, 64 to 29. Panthers at this point. The next race is the 100-yard breaststroke, and again, some pretty good times for the three swimmers near the middle of the pool. Sean Geary wins it with a time of 116.46, but second and third is a family affair. The brother-sister combo of Drew and Abby Altieri 
take two and three for lower. That's a neat twist to co-ed swimming that you wouldn't see anywhere else. 114 to 55 is the final. Middle Township takes first in all the events, including the 40 free relay here. The Panthers win to improve to five and two on the season. Lower K May falls to 0 and 5. Let's go back and look at the week that was in swimming now as the K May Tech boys and girls fall at Oak Crest last Tuesday, 105 to 64. The Falcon boys win in 124 to 45. The Oak Crest girls win also last Tuesday. The Middle Township boys pick up a win 90 to 79 at home against Buna Regional. The very next day, it's a rivalry affair between Ocean City and Mainland. 128 to 42, the Mustang boys swim past the Red Raiders, but 99 to 70. The OC girls win against the mainland girls. The Red Raider girls swim team perfect with a 5-0 record to start the season. Here are our final two swimming scores then as a co-ed team from Cedar Creek swims past Wildwood Catholic 96-74 at the Hess School. Also last Friday, Cape May Tech wins 51-43 on the road at Olma. That's win number two of the season for the Cape May Tech girls. Special shout out to the Ocean City girls as they dominate the Hackneys last Saturday at Atlantic High, taking seven of the events, seven wins, and setting three meet records. For now, that's area high school swimming. So all that's left is to go through last week's basketball scores, 14 for the girls, 12 for the boys. So let's get right back into it. And of course, ladies first, girls basketball first. Let's be polite. Ladies first, the Wildwood Catholic girls edge out ACIT last Monday, 42 to 40. Cape May Tech wins in overtime at St. Joe by four. 43 to 39. Wildwood continues to be solid as Dave Troiano's Warriors win 42 to 37 at home over Pittman last Tuesday. Lower Cape May not as fortunate at Apsigami as the Caper Tigers fall by 12. The news is better for Ocean City. Paul Barufi's team a 42 to 26 winner over Middle Township. Alexis Payon. 17 points to lead all scorers and we'll keep chugging along with girl scores as Wildwood falls at Gloucester Catholic 63 to 34. Ocean City picks up another win. The Red Raiders rough up Bridgeton 57 to 16. And Lower Cape May bounces back with a 43 to 24 win at home over Olma. Jessica Elliott 10 points to lead the Caper Tigers in a girls game last Thursday. Two girls games last Friday night. Middle Township wins 44 to 27 at St. Joe and Hamilton and congrats to Wildwood Catholic girls coach Steve DePatry as he picks up career win number 400. His Crusaders beat Paulsboro 49-36 to for now. That's girls basketball, which leaves us with boys basketball. We'll run through them the same way. Wildwood Catholic wins big at ACIT 72-41. to St. Joe a 30-point winner at Cape May Tech last Monday night. The Wildwood boys edge Pittman. They edge past Pittman 68-65 to on the road last Tuesday. Kion Flanders game high 24 points and Apsigami roughs up lower Cape May despite Pat Holden's 17. A rivalry game takes place in Cape May Courthouse as Middle beats Ocean City 49-38. to Luciano Lebrano 19 points for OC but number one Tim Tony with a game high 20 points for middle. That's last Tuesday's action. Last Wednesday, just one score. Wildwood Catholic was out St. Joe at home, 83 to 60. DJ Smith, 25 points. And last Thursday, three of our Super Six on the court. Lower Cape May goes down at the prep, 69 to 40. No shame there. The Hermits are pretty darn good. Wildwood, a 10 point winner at home over Gloucester Catholic in Ocean City. Bounces back from the middle loss with a 71 to 57 victory at Bridgeton. Happy birthday, John Bruno last week, by the way. Finally, four of our Super Six boys teams playing this past Friday as middle wins 60 to 31 at home over St. Joe. The Panthers start the week with a five and one record. Ocean City beat by Pleasantville 77 to 74 despite a game high 31 points from Connor Laverty. Cape May Tech struggles at home with Atlanta Christian 68 to 46 the final there and Wildwood runs into a good Salem team and falls 71 to 54. That's boys basketball. Steph Sella. Steph Sella. Steph Sella. Yes, don't forget all the video that you've seen here was shot by Stephanie Sella. If you see her out and about at your school, please stop her and say hello. Also, if you have a story idea or suggestion, you can email me at pthompson at cmcherald.com. That's pthompson 
at cmcherald.com. We want to remind you that our Rivalry Week coverage continues next week as we're going to have more Middle Township and Lower Cape May action. They do battle in boys and girls basketball this week, so we'll have those highlights for you next week right back here. But for now, that is week number six of Under Review. It's brought to you by the Burke Motor Group. Hey, we will see you back here, we hope, next week.